Tony, Bori, suit up. New heroes are rising. A hidden giveaway in the video. New units? Wait, did you say a giveaway? Hell yeah. Let's go! Hi generals, today we bring you the secrets of the epic update 46. Let's get right into it. Before we start, let me tell you that somewhere in the video there is a hidden code. Find it, click on the link in the description, follow the steps and redeem it for a treat. Keep in mind that you have to claim it until the end of June. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the hidden codes in our next videos. We begin with the game-changing new heroes. The mighty lieutenants. These new characters are specifically designed to help you dominate the opposition, giving you a giant advantage in battle. The lieutenants are extremely powerful soldiers that you can attach to any commander's convoys and boost your armies immensely in battles. And you can enhance your offense insanely because you can add not only one, but two lieutenants to the same convoy. With the new update, we introduce six lieutenants that you can craft your strategy around. And more are on the way. And you will be able to recruit them after you reach level 22. Each lieutenant will be unit specific. This means that they will be connected and will buff a particular unit type. The lieutenants will have two special skills, providing incredible bonuses to your armies. When the lieutenant is acquired, the main special skill will be automatically unlocked. The second skill will be opened after you increase the lieutenant's rarity. The lieutenants will also have two additional sets of powerful stats. The baseline bonuses are lieutenant specific and increase with each new level. The specialization ones are passive bonuses connected to a skill tree that every lieutenant has. You unlock lieutenants and increase their rank by collecting enough of their unique lieutenant cards and rank up fragments. But how do you get those crucial parts? You can obtain lieutenant cards and rank up fragments by using the recruit section of the new lieutenant HQ building. To do that, you'd need lieutenant recruit shards, which you can get from various channels. You will also have a free recruit action every 24 hours, and we will give you 5 of these shards on June 29th. And because we are cool, we will let you unlock all of them at level 1 for free. That's epic! Can you tell me more about one of them? I present to you sweet Tanya. She is an artillery mastermind. With her first skill, prepared positions, she ensures that her artillery units can withstand enemy attacks by reducing the damage they take for a set of duration of turns. Tanya's second skill, Armor Ingress, is a game changer. When her artillery stack launches its first attack, it significantly reduces the target's armor for a number of turns. You can increase Tanya's or any lieutenant's level for that matter with XP vouchers. We will have brand new epic lieutenant events that will give you top prizes for upgrading your heroes. And we'll launch new festive chain events allowing you to win specific card shards for a different lieutenant every week. And also the lieutenants Wait, are... we have prepared a special video for the lieutenants. You can learn everything about game-changing heroes next week. So stay tuned. Okay, Tony, what should we talk about next? How about the massive rebalance of units? Sounds good. Get ready to crunch some numbers. All units' base damage was increased by around 15%. The artillery received a 25% increase in base health. And all aerial units' base HP is bumped up by 20%. The base production cost of units from tier 1 to 10 is decreased by up to 10%. And from tier 11 to 14, the cost is dropped by up to 30%. The base production speed of units from tier 1 to 10 is lowered by up to 30%. For units from tier 11 to 14, it's decreased by up to 45%. The repair cost of all units was reduced from 10 to 8% of the production cost. And their repair speed was reduced by a third. A lot of interesting changes. Indeed, can't wait to check them out in battle. Something big enters the battlefield, 
to bring even more explosive action. The tier 15 units, their strength is 17% more than tier 14. The stats of tier 15 units are 10% higher than the tier 14. This new tier will be available upon reaching World HQ level 35, allowing players to build level 36 headquarters and unit factories. The tier 15 units will be obtainable through various channels, including event rewards. Exciting times are coming. And things are getting even more thrilling with the commander changes. As you know, commanders use an energy system during battles. They get energy by taking damage, destroying an opponent's stack of units or attacking in general. We wanted to upgrade the energy mechanic. So, after the update, power-ups no longer provide energy to commanders they hit. Some of the most powerful abilities and add-ons have also been rebalanced. Let's start with the abilities. Yuva Storr's hammer's base damage was reduced from 260 to 200%, and its scaling per rank was decreased from 40 to 30%. Ilva's Rocket Barrage, regular ability base damage per missile was reduced from 40 to 35%. Finally, Thrasher's specialization skill for commander damage reduction was changed from 2 to 1% per rank for a total of 30% at rank 30. Now, on to the add-on changes. Firstly, Kopka's Med Rifle damage scaling per rank was reduced from 40 to 30%. The scaling of the Thorium Crest damage reduction from commanders was nerfed from 2% to 1.4% per level. This makes a total of 45% at level 26. The stun chance of Commander Grant's chemical impairing mites at level 26 was changed from 30 to 100%. Wow, that guy won't miss! Indeed. And we won't miss unveiling the next mystery of the update. Oh yeah, the mist. The new weather effect hides many secrets. The mist will spawn only on player bases and on empty tiles on the map. The key power of the mist is that the players in it can be scouted by others. But it's crucial to know that although you can be scouted, you are visible and can be attacked. Another important thing is that you can interact with the tiles under the mist. Now, it is time to get out of the mist and onto the 4th of July festivities. The epic WPO wants you chain event brings hot action. You can join the special events during the holiday period, dominate the leaderboard and the milestones to fill your back with explosive rewards. At the same time, we will have a fireworks minigame. Numerous rogue firework rockets will invade the world map during the celebration period. Go on a treasure hunt and gather as many as possible to get our holiday currencies. Then visit our festive trader and get exclusive rewards in return. The WPO wants you chain will also bring a powerful offensive item, the Liberty Ward. Designed for Commander Kapka, this weapon will give you bonus HP when defending and activation speed as its set bonuses. Don't forget its non-set bonuses as well. You can check out its stats on the screen. And how about the new Holiday Defensive Commander skin? Uncle Trasher looks awesome, and its bonus of unit armor when defending could be crucial. The defensive commander will also be pampered with the new addition to the WPO Wants You gear set. The Peacekeeper is an implant that boosts the assault unit's armor and health as its first two set bonuses. And its random properties give bonuses from the offensive and defensive pools. The festive period will also bring a lot of eye-catching cosmetic items which you can use to flex on your enemies, like these two base decorations. Firstly, we have a place I visited often as a young man, the Outcast Sanctuary. Oh, okay, wow, that escalated quickly, let's move on to the Grace Tower. The holiday will also bring epic avatars. These cool emojis. And this top-of-the-shelf profile frame. Love it, but what's next on the update 46 list? How about the attack of the Marauders? The new Renegade season brings destruction alongside some epic crafting and offensive items. The Titan Bulwark is an offensive item for Commander Volsky. It will provide you with load capacity boost and bonus health for your armored units. The Renegades also bring the Downbreaker Exoskeleton to the Marauder's defensive gear set, enhancing armored damage and health as its first set bonuses. Its random bonuses come from the Offensive, Defensive and Commander pools. What's next? We must talk about the new recruit faction member state. Every new member we will put in this state and we will have the following restrictions. A player in this state will be unable to reinforce or be reinforced by a faction member. Can participate in faction rallies or faction coordinated attacks. Also can't attack, rally or reinforce a capital. 
Once the new recruit state ends, everything falls back to the original rules and run conditions. Leaving and re-entering the faction will apply or reset the state. And since we are on the faction topic, let's finish the video with a long-awaited change. After the update, if a faction doesn't connect with any member in Faction Wars, the defeat would result in losing rating points. And I want to highlight another important improvement, this time regarding the Proving Grounds. We reduced the strength of the Renegade armies for the normal and hard difficulty of the event by 15%. I think this sums it up. It's time to go. Just let me go through the video and find the hidden code. Generals, you can do the same if you still haven't found it. And keep an eye out for the new lieutenant's video coming out in a few days. It's gonna rule. See you soon, generals. You can join the special events during the holiday period, dominate the real <laughs> <laughs>